Hi, I'm Shauna and this is Shauna's World and today I'm going on a very exciting adventure. I'm going on my first ever holiday with my girlfriend Rowan. Hello! And we are going to the beautiful and rural county of Herefordshire. We're going to be spending um, an entire week doing things like hiking, stand-up paddle boarding, canoeing and I'm looking forward to taking you along with us. <laughs> So Rowan has this book that tells you cool places to stop along motorways and A-roads and we've come to a place called Bertha Garden Centre to stop and have some food and it looks so lovely and we'd never have found this otherwise. Welcome to the jungle. I absolutely love this place, what a fun quirky little place to stop off on a road trip. Um, it's got a lovely garden shop and lots of plants and lots of gourmet food and things and the cafe is amazing and vegan options galore including vegan ice cream. Thank you very much. We have arrived at our Airbnb which is in a little kind of hamlet called St Owen's Cross which is near Ross on Wye um, and it's a really nice place. We're staying in a kind of shed or a like lodge thing in the bottom of someone's garden um, and it's a really nice property with horses and chickens running around. Day one here has been so lovely just settling in and um, getting to know our little patch. This evening we've just lay on the ground outside and watched the stars and the sky is so clear and that's something I absolutely love about getting out of London and coming to the countryside. We're just gonna go to bed and get ready for our first little day of adventure tomorrow. Well it's Sunday and I had a really good first night's sleep here and we're heading today to a place called Simmons Yacht which is um, one of the most beautiful places in Herefordshire um, so looking forward to that hopefully it's not too busy it's a bit cloudy today so hopefully the crowds don't come out too much we've arrived at Simmons Yacht and we're walking a bit of a trail which is going to take us to a fort and then a lookout point and then we're going to go for a, hopefully a stand-up paddleboard There's an incredible viewpoint over the Y and you can see people canoeing and all sorts and we're going to head down there in a bit. So here is a hand, hand ferry where it's like pulled along. Um, it's really cool but it's closed at the moment. Alright then, so, first things first, you just have to try and adjust them. Do you know what to adjust them to? I forgot, forgot. Oh, we're about to get out on the water. I've got my life vest on and the paddle boards are ready. And I'm very excited to get out on the water. My first stand up paddle boarding experience. I've done stand-up paddleboarding yoga but never proper stand-up paddleboarding and I love it! We've been paddling for a little while now and most of the hustle and the bustle of the river and the wind has died down um, so it's really peaceful now and I'm getting into the swing of things and just really enjoying paddling. We've just finished the paddle boarding and it was so much fun. It was probably harder than I expected. I think um, it looks so peaceful and it is so peaceful, but you underestimate how much those little muscles in your feet are um, overcompensating to stabilize you. Had, an, had a close shave, nearly fell in, but phew, it was all okay in the end. I heard it go thud on the board. So I'd really recommend the place we got um, paddle boards from this morning. It was called Widing Canoes and hence the name they do canoes as well. Um, but the paddle boarding you can only do if you've done paddle boarding before uh, but they don't kind of grill you too much and they showed us how to do things. It was £25 for an hour of 
paddleboard hire um, or £40 for two hours. We tried to find a wild swimming spot down the bottom but the banks weren't right for kind of getting in. So we're going back to the car and hopefully we'll find a good swim spot this afternoon. So we've had to drive to the other side of the river because we couldn't find a world swim spot where we were. We found the perfect little spot and we're going to go for a dip now. Let's do this! It's really muddy in here. I'm going every step, going knee deep into the mud. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, you have to suffer for the art of swimming wild. What's it like? Now we're on the pebbles. So I'm a little bit scared about the mud, and I'm thinking I was just going to get stuck in there at like quicksand forever, and have to be like rescued by a winch to be pulled out or something like that. Okay, I'm going to go in. Will you come with me? I'm going to go You're so brave. Okay, everything's okay. Yeah. One. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> One. I'm going to Oh, that's... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go straight for it. One, two, three, go. It tastes so fresh, this water. Does it? I like the way you put it. I didn't mean to. I just probably forgot to close my mouth. Oh, This is such a good feeling <laughs> and the sun's come out. When we couldn't find a spot to swim on the other side, I was pretty much ready to give up on having a wild swim, but it's actually the highlight of the day so far. Um, it's been absolutely magical. So the spot we picked is on Simmons Yacht West and it's by the Ferry Inn pub and there's a little beach where there's a canoe launch. There's no one else here. The trouble with swimming outdoors is the getting changed afterwards. If you're in a public place with loads of people around, you just can't get changed. Um, so we've just put some dry clothes on over our swimsuits and are trying to dry off in a meadow. After a wholesome and rejuvenating day, we went back to our lodge for some great food and a good night's sleep. It is Monday, we're out on the road and we are heading to Tintin Abbey today. We've come to the Anchor Inn in Tintin for lunch and it's got a view where we're sitting of Tintin Abbey which is actually closed at the moment so it's really nice to see it as we eat. Exploring the ruins as much as we could with it being closed, we headed up for a hike to Devil's Pulpit to see a different view over Tintin Abbey. What have we got? Plums? I have a pound. We shall feast on plums. Witness, we pay for it. Look at that, it's a bargain for a pound. Part of this walk is along Offa's Dyke Trail, which is actually a long distance trail that I have thought of doing in my life. So it'll be nice to touch on that a little bit. We've made it to Devil's Pulpit at the top of the hike and it's just a little clearing in the trees where you can see a stunning view of Tintin Abbey. And up looking over that view, I am enjoying one of the plums we picked up along the way at the Honesty Box. After heading back down the hill to Tintin, we sat by the glorious River Wye and ate ice creams before heading back to our Airbnb for the night. The next morning we were ready for another adventure. Today is Tuesday and we are spending the day in the Brecon Beacons. We're going to be climbing Hay Bluff and Lord Hereford's Knob um, and it's looking so beautiful around here. The sun's out and um, there are a lot of 
really good walks around here. We did a lot of research, but we've had to do a slightly shorter walk because um, Rowan has a bit of an injury. There's kids bloody running up this hill. I am um, quite intimidated by it at the moment. Um, it's looking a bit ominous, but it will be worth it at the top. Hi, beautiful. Oh, you got flies around you. So Hay Bluff doesn't have that much altitude, but it's straight up on the hike. It's not gentle at all. So you really feel it. We're so near the top now. We made it. We've reached the top and the view is absolutely phenomenal. We're just sitting, surveying our kingdom, looking out over the wild, the wreck and beacons. It's so beautiful here. Oh, don't go sliding down the mountain. <laughs> Right, hill number two, Lord Hereford's Knob, here we come. It's quite daunting because we're at the top of Hay Bluff still now. We've walked along a ridge um, and we're going to have to go pretty much all the way down nearly and then all the way back up and it's pretty much the same height. Um, but it's a nice day for it and I'm looking forward to the challenge. We made it to the top of Lord Hereford's Knob, which is also known as Tumpa. Um, it's always a much easier climb than Hay Bluff, um, and yeah, views are beautiful. It's quite busy at the top, but we're going to stop and have some lunch. We've had some slight navigational issues on the way down, um, but I think we've got it under control and we're gonna we're not gonna have to call out mountain rescue on this occasion. At the bottom of the hill we found the park and more importantly found a nice spring to paddle in. We're nearly back at the car and oh my gosh it's been such a lovely route I'm just it's making me a bit emotional looking at the views we followed a route that was about 9k um, and we used a website called go for a walk um, and we also used the OS maps to support it I'd really recommend it I'll link in the description the walk that we did and it's just been breathtaking the entire way brilliant thank you you're welcome you too, thank you. After a good day of walking, it was time to recuperate back at our Airbnb. Today is Wednesday and we've come to the town of Hay on Wye, um, which is I think just in Wales, because everything is in Welsh, so we must be in Wales, just on the border. Um, it's a very literary town and there's lots of bookshops and stuff, so we're just going to do some pottering about before a more active afternoon. We explored so many bookshops new books, antique books, graphic novels, anything you're looking for. Lots of the bookshops are old with little tucked away reading nooks. I picked up an antique book of Byron poems from 1890 for less than a tenner. 
We've come to a pub called The Three Tons for lunch and um, honestly, I had a vegan burger, vegan pizza burger, it was the best vegan burger I have ever had and usually I'm quite disappointed by um, bean burgers compared to the fake meat burgers but it had sun-dried tomatoes and gherkins and salsa verde, it was so good, so come to this pub. That afternoon we went canoeing but unfortunately my GoPro stopped working so I didn't get any footage. Canoeing on the Y is a must though. We went with a company called Alternate Canoe and paddled five miles down the river to a pub in Whitney on Y. I'd really recommend it. And you can rent canoes for half a day like we did, or you can do a multi-day canoeing and camping trip, which is something I'd really love to do in the future. We spent the evening in the adorable village of Webley, and thankfully my GoPro was working again by Thursday. So today we've come to the Forest of Dean and we've hired a tandem which I've never done before and we just cycled it around the car park and it's really, really hard. Are you excited about the tandem? I am so excited about the tandem, I've never been on one before and it's going to be a challenge. Yeah and the lady in the shop said we're either going to love it or come back hating each other so fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I always say I'm not a confident cyclist and I'm not a confident cyclist, but it turns out I am a confident tandem cyclist. I'm loving this. I'm zooming around. We're having so much fun. And um, I have a need for speed going down those hills. It's epic. We're not, um, we're not all the way around yet. We've stopped at a lake that had a ro rope swing and just having a banana, but I am in my element. We just finished our tandem ride. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's not gonna be the last time I get on a tandem. And I'm gonna cycle more because I'm always so scared of cycling, but I really loved it. We rented bikes from a place called Peddler Bike Away and they were really good, really efficient. We booked the tandem in advance and they do mountain bikes and everything as well. Um, it was £33 for the tandem for the whole day. And yeah, they give you a, a map to a trail. There's like an 11 mile trail that goes around the Forest of Dean. Um, so yeah. It's Friday today and very sadly, the last full day of our trip but we're just ignoring that for now um, and we've come to the Malvern Hills and we're walking in this wooded area we're doing a walk that takes in the British camp and East Knoll Park um, and it's looking really beautiful so far We were just talking before about the smell of ferns and bracken and does anything compare to it? It's such a earthy, alive, green smell. Wonderful. Amidst all the walking, there was still time for a history lesson. This is a hill fort. 
They were absolutely classic and archetypal of the Iron Age period, which was the period in Britain just before the Romans came. So we're talking just over 2,000 years ago. On quite a lot of the hill forts, you get um, actual settlements there. So these would have been the banks and ditches being the defensive structures, probably with fences and things on at, atop the banks as well, just in order to give that extra bit of height. They lived in wattle and daub round houses, which is just one of my favourite types of houses. They, the wattle was made of woven sticks in and out, in and out, in and out, in order to create basically a fence structure in a circle. And then they would make the daub, which is a mixture of an, animal poo and mud. It's really pretty amazing at the top of this hill fort. You can see so far, so far, the Iron Age people had it right. Back at the car, that was that was really quite the walk. Um, so much, so varied, but the hill fort really topped it off. I loved it, and having Rowan to teach me all about hill forts was a great. We've just popped over to the town of Ledbury, which is uh, um, really close to the Morven Hills and it's beautiful, there's um, all these Tudor buildings and it looks really cute so we're going to have a bit of an explore. We found a really old cute street with cobbled floors and Tudor buildings, really beautiful. Ledbury was a really cute town, um, really loved it, but there's not, well, we didn't discover a whole lot to see there, so we were actually only there about half an hour, checked out the cobbled streets and stuff, um, but um, it was the end of the day, so the, a lot of the shops and things were closed, um, but I would definitely recommend checking it out, it is a beautiful place. It's Saturday and our final morning of our entire holiday, which is absolutely heartbreaking, um, but we're spending the last couple of moments um, finding King Arthur's cave. Update, we can't actually find the cave. We're gonna keep persevering, but um, it's hidden. King Arthur does not want us to find his cave. That's the, the, the thing. The thing coming out is where we're facing, right? Yeah, I swear it's moving backwards. We found it! This is cool. Oh, wow! It's really dark in here, so I don't think you can see, but... We found a little nook at the back of the cave. This is so cool. And that concluded our glorious week in the Herefordshire countryside. There's so much to do there. We could have stayed much longer. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe.